In this video, we are going to import the data into SPSS. As you can see, I'm now in Windows. I already opened SPSS, and at first I'm going to click the Open Data Document symbol. And I'm going to my data directory, and I have there this one Excel file that I extracted from the zip file. In order to see that, actually, you need, in SPSS, you need to select uh, Excel files, and then you see it there, data.excel. I open it, and then it will display the data. So what you see, basically, is there are six participants, and each participant is a case and has all uh, its variables on the line. Now, remember, I just actually did it myself, and I entered random numbers and some you know, ages. So for each variable, you have the values that you want. And you can browse through that. And you see what's important is you have the score from the satisfaction with life scale. And if you go a little bit further, you also have the final score from the uh, QDOS scale. Now you also have all the individual values that participants gave for the individual scores. For now, uh, actually, I'm not interested in that, and I'm going to delete the variables that I, I'm not interested in for now, just because there's not that much space on the screen. So let's remove the individual answers uh, for both the scales, and let's just look at the final scores. So that is also something for you important to remember um, you always want to make sure that you enter uh, a way of scoring in your site toolkit survey. It just makes analysis much easier. So now we just have four relevant variables um, for each of the six participants. of the age, the gender, uh, it's one or two, and it follows the same number uh, sequence as in the survey. So I had one was male and two was female. Of course, you can assign any value that you want there. Uh, the score for satisfaction with life and the score for kudos. Now, you could rename that. So what, what do we want to do now? I want to just show you how you can quickly, for example, make a, a graph. So if you go to Graph, Legacy Dialogs, and select, for example, the so-called scatter dot graph, you s select a, si a simple scatter plot, define, you take um, the um, the satisfaction with life score, you put it, for example, up the, on the x-axis, and um, you put the score of the QDOS on the y-axis, for example, because you want to know if satisfaction with life influences um, um, uh, the depression score. That's what we're testing. So we put it on there, and then it shows you your correlation. Of course, correlation is not causation. So there are all sorts of things that you can think about. Uh, that's not really the point of this side toolkit lesson. So I'm going to close that, uh, show that it works. And next thing that I want to show you is a correlation between these two variables. Go to Analysis, choose Correlate, by Bivariate. Um, you select the Satisfaction with Life score and the score on the QDOS. And you click OK, and it shows you that there is a Pearson correlation of minus 0.424, and that is uh, not significant. Now, there are multiple reasons for that. The main reason is that I just enter random answers, just because this is a demonstration. But what I've shown you here is how easy it is to, to do a site toolkit online survey and get the data into SPSS. All the data are summarized, and if you use the set question type of site toolkit, you can have this, the final score on a questionnaire so that you do not need to calculate the final score for a scale yourself in uh, SPSS or Excel. So that just makes things a little bit easier.